Ooh, welcome back to the Decider Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more modern Skyblock 3. And when we left off, we had just made all of our slimes and we had opened up some new areas in our book here, right? Um, our questing book. So now we've got better, uh, basic automation and a better storage. I want to go ahead and start knocking a couple of these accomplishments out. Eventually, I do want to get these guys set up to start making more materials, but I'm not in a total rush because I really feel like these all kind of lead together. Um, and so I want to go ahead and get a couple of these things done and being able to get the drawer controlled in the compactor drawer would be nice because then I can kind of automate all these trees into like one little system. I'm thinking that's what I want to do. But to start off, I want to get going on... So these better storages, I want to check out these colossal chests. I don't know how they work, but I know that's a really fun big chest, and I think that'd be kind of fun to have. Um, and that'd kind of be like my junk drawer chest, I think is what I want to do. But the first thing I want to do is make a dirt chest. The good old dirt chest 3000 or whatever it's called. And I'm pretty sure that's just like this, right? Oh, it's not. Interesting. Dirt chest. <clears throat> oh, and it's got a regular chest in the middle. Okay. Um, I don't have, oh, I've got another crafting table right there. Um, I don't have any, oh, I have one right here. Cool. That's funny that the torch is right in the middle. Um, okay, so dirt chest. Mission accomplished. That was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Now the copper chest. Let's see what that one's all about. Copper chest. I think it's just a chest with copper around it, isn't it? Which means I'll have to start looking into some copper. Yeah, chest with some copper. Copper is made. How do I get copper? How in the world do I get copper? Hmm. How do I get copper ore? Doesn't say. How am I supposed to do this then? Um, thermal foundation. Oh, there's different kinds of copper. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so the alchemical with the crystal fluid. And that one is going to be gunpowder and pumpkin seeds or gunpowder and copper. Okay, so I'm sure we can make some pumpkin seeds. I think I've got at least one more pumpkin sitting around here somewhere. If not, I've got a pumpkin already growing up over here. So we can do that and make some copper and get the copper chest done. Today might just be more of a, there's four pumpkin seeds, um, just kind of you know, getting stuff done. Kind of, hey. That was ill-timed. All right, so I do got to do something about these animals, these eggs. I'm just picking up eggs constantly. Um, but to get the copper, where's the ingots at? Oh, and copper. It was the thermal one I was just looking at, right? That I could do, thermal. And it was gunpowder, right? Two gunpowder, one seed, so I need eight gunpowder. Cool, can do it. And four seeds, I did 10. All right, so we'll get you going in there. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute, what am I thinking? This is done over in this table right here. What am I thinking? Uh, you and you. Is that a gun? Yeah, that's a glowstone in there, okay. So let's make up some copper, cool and get you in there. And I need to take some of the crystal shards, which I've got around here somewhere. Um, or maybe I don't have any more. I thought I did. I thought I had a ton, actually. They might have despawned when I tried to throw them in that thing up there. Because I'm not seeing any at all, anywhere. I know I had a bunch. I guess I gotta make some more. I didn't put them in here by any chance, I think. Nope. All right, let's get some sand and make up some glass. Let's do this into nine. Two each. Cool, that works. And let me get some coal here. Make it into some tiny coal. And then I'll have nine of you. Hey, why do you keep doing that? Oh, why are you being so annoying? I don't know. But you and you. You and you. You and you. Oh, there they are. Ha, I knew I had something right there. Okay. Well, we'll have more glass for the future. So 
cool. Put you all away. Put the sand away and <laughs> grab these. Now, this is actually where um, one of those things from this mod over here could come in really useful because I can start, okay, you're gonna start melting right there. I can put the dropper in. Let's let's look at the recipe for that one real quick. That was, what was that thing called? Um, it was under basic automation. This thing, crucible inserter. All right. Inserter. That is a dropper and six iron. We can do that super quick, super easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go make a dropper. I'm assuming I'm going to need some redstone. I made a dropper. Well, yeah, that's what that is. That's a dropper. I was like, I knew I made a dropper recently. And of course I didn't grab enough. And I don't remember if the dropper gets the redstone in the middle or if it gets it on the bottom. Like that, right? Dropper. Cool. Like that. Cool. Crucible inserter. Okay. So now, if I put you, let me pick those up, right there, like that. Doesn't seem to be working. Does it need, I didn't look, I should probably read the book a little bit better. The crucible inserter holds up to a stack of crystal shards and automatically throws them in the crucible when it has room for them. Making it so that you don't have to go to it and throw three shards in every few minutes or more. Okay, so you should just be... Okay, it is working. <gasps> awesome. All right, cool. So that'll constantly be provide that with fluid. Now what I need is basically just to put one of these up there with a... Um, which is like glass whenever I need it. And then I'll just make a ton, ton, ton of these shards. Well, let's make up... I could just put a chest there, couldn't I? I could just put, get off the book, there. If I put a chest next to this and then have a hopper into it, that could work, that could work. But hey, that's cool for right now. That's good for right now. Let me put these shards back in here, which I don't need. Um, dirt chest, we're gonna set you down just for fun. You'll go right there. Something, how to use your dirt chest 9000. Yes, I remember that book now. I think that's fun stuff. Um, just fun, goofy stuff I like. Go away. All right, cool. Who are you throwing snowballs at, man? Is there a bad guy down there? Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a zombie, baby zombie pigman that came through the portal and is swimming in the water and my snowman is defending me. <laughs> Oh, sometimes entertain, entertaining things do happen while you're playing. Oh, that's too funny. Okay. So, anyways, um, back to the book. What were we looking at? So, copper, we were looking at making... Um, let me get the copper out of here. And put you into here. And, oh, that's fast. That's much, much faster. Okay, cool. So, we'll be able to make our copper chest. Let me go grab a chest really quick. And get that going. And... Uh, what did I need? Eight of these. So that should be really, really quick. Uh, copper alchemical. How did you get in there? I don't remember putting you in there, but we'll just make up a ton of copper for right now. That things are things are rolling. Things are smooth. I'm 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 happy with the way things are going. All right, eight of you. Cool. And chest and copper now. And there we go. Copper chest. Cool. Where do we want to put said copper chest at? Maybe the copper chest is the one that I can put up there. No, I don't need that much, that much space. Although, I could put it right here. Um, let me move this one. And we'll put you here. Just because you're bigger. Holds a little more inventory. In case we start, you know, producing metals at a decent rate. We'll have a, a decent storage there. Awesome. And I might need another chest for later, so. Uh, nope, not in you. And you. All right, cool. So let's check out what we've accomplished so far. No, I did quite a few of them really quickly. So we've got the inserter. Let me grab the loot chest for you. And storage, we've done the dirt chest. And we've done the copper chest. 
And what, what's the recipe for the iron chest? I bet you it's the copper with. Or is it just a regular iron chest? Um, iron chest. Just a regular chest with iron or iron and glass? Oh, iron and glass are on the copper chest. Okay. Well, we should have enough iron. I can make an iron chest up real quick. And eight of you. And I just took that chest out, so we know we've got that. There we go. And we're just knocking this section out quick like. I like it. I like being productive. Um, the torch is up here for right now. Where, oh, where will the iron chest be useful? Um, we'll just put you right here for right now. Iron chest, a little bit more storage. That's cool. Let's go ahead and claim that one. We'll pop some of these loot bags real quick. Or loot chests, I should say. Hey, claim. All right, let's see if we got anything good. Slime channels. Devil tail, devil horn. Dragon bricks. And a magic bean. What does a magic bean do? From random things. Uses. Uh, if planted, a magic bean creates a beanstalk that grows until it hits the top of the world. On top of it, you will find a bean pod which contains valuables. Um, I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to do this. This area up here is just kind of temporary-ish. Let's see. That's so cool. Can we climb it? Oh, careful. Oh my goodness. That's so fast. Do I have to break it? What did I get? I got seven gold, two diamonds, an emerald, 15 refined, and a bean. What's a bean good for? Bean's good for food. Well, that was cool. Um, bye. <laughs> that was interesting. Something new, something different. I like it. I like having new stuff happen. All right, so let's put the beans with the rest of the seed-like stuff. Um, Emeralds and diamonds go in here. <clears throat> I can put the gold over in this chest over here. And, oh, the refined iron too. I wonder if that refined iron is really, like, valuable. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, so. The dragon brick I'm also created. Is it just, uh, just a pretty, yeah, it just seems to be a pretty brick. Um, it doesn't seem to have any uses, per se, other than that. They're pretty, though. I, I That's going to go in a build somewhere. I can guarantee that. Um, how do I make it? Just bricks with dragon's breath. That's kind of cool. Is that a van that's not a vanilla block, is it? No, that's ceramics. I was like, I know I don't know a lot about 1.12, but I that would seem kind of like a crazy block to add. All right, anyways, moving on. Uh, we've got our iron chest. Uh, silver chest is gonna be silver. Gold chest is gonna be gold. Diamond chest is gonna be diamond. I'm not too worried about these right here. However, I do want to check out this wooden colossal chest. Okay. So I need a colossal chest core, a colossal chest interface, and 26 colossal chest walls. Let's look this up. Um, chest walls. You are made by... Okay, so I need 13 recipes of eight planks and a wood. Okay. So I've got plenty of you. And I guess I can just make wood like that. There we go. So it's eight of you. Around eight of you. And that's going to give me 16. I guess I got to do my math better next time. I needed five more recipes of this. Is that enough? Nope, not quite. Actually, it technically was enough, but... Okay, cool. And then I need um, chest core, what is it called? Which is an iron ingot, one of those. Okay, so I need another one of those. And what was the other part called? So I need two more, it looks probably. Uh, interface, chest interface. 
And that is one um, f with four. So yeah, so I need one more of those. That's easy. Oh, I only need one. There we go. And that'll give me two. Yep. And you with an iron ingot, right? Is that what it was? Iron ingot. And then four pieces of cobble. Got it. All right, cool. Let's do this. So you like that. And you and you. Now, I'm assuming the fact that this is 26 blocks, it's probably supposed to be 27. Um, oh, that's why you need to make 26. I bet you it's hot. Okay. That's why you make the 26 and then you use two of those. Okay, I didn't actually need the two extras. But um, where are we going to put this colossal chest? I'm kind of running out of room here. Um, I don't want to like build out an entire area just for this chest but i think i might yes well let's just see what it looks like okay so i'm going to use logic first and see if this works i know you guys are probably going to be frustrated with me for doing it like this but i just want move i just want to use some logic first and see if this works so my logic is i need like one of these blocks here and like one of these blocks here Although that's going to be, yeah, no, that's fine. That's going to be the buckle, right? And then it's going to be like this. And I bet you the middle's open. Just doing the count of blocks I needed. I needed 26, two for those parts. And then, ha ha ha, I did it right. And, oh, oh, that's a pretty big storage right there. Um, So not going to leave that there. But, you know, we'll go and store you in there. Um, that's that's kind of cool. I don't know how much that holds, but that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to... good. I almost can't leave it. I can't leave it. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's just too big. But that is really cool. I like that. That's a lot of fun. Um, I can see having a lot of fun with this thing. Um, and it looked like there was other colossal chests I had to make anyways. Let's grab the loot chest from that first. Um, yeah, because it's a copper colossal, an iron colossal. I might just have a colossal storage area somewhere and do it that way. But for right now, <laughs> not so much. I'll put all the storage stuff in the iron chest. There we go. And a chicken died. Did I kill a chicken? Oh, these stupid bowls. Don't drop it again. <laughs> Don't drop it again. Come on, stay still. You garbage now. Where did all my <laughs> torches go? That was so stupid. They're so trolly. I just not a fan. Not a fan of those stupid bowls. Alright, cool. Um I'm gonna consider a piece of chicken a mob drop for right now. Alright, cool. And putting you away. Awesome. What else? What else? What else? Um, not worried about the rest of the colossals now. An uncolossal chest. Ooh, what's that? Uncolossal. It's probably like a single chest. Uncolossal chest. How do we make you? That is one of those and a plank. Let's see what that's all about. So I have extras. So I can do that. Um, take that wood out of there and put it over here where it was supposed to go. And a plank. And you and you. Okay, it's probably going to be really dinky, huh? I knew it. Is it just a one-item chest? Oh, I mean, it holds five items. It's kind of cute. I like that. That's kind of fun. I mean, it's better than those, like, when you break a chest apart and you can only hold, like, one item in it. So, all right, let's see what we get. Ladder of Paranoia. I don't need it right now, but in the future I could. So we'll put you down here with potentially useful stuff in the future. And let's see what else we can get done today. By the way, I will be probably getting these done. Um, the auto filler and the auto collector. Um, but I just wanted to get a couple other things done before we really get there. I want to start looking into the basic automation as well. So let's start with automating breaking. Break. Where's that block? There it is. So this is a uh, iron pickaxe, a redstone torch, and seven cobble okay well let's get some iron 
one, two, three, and I'm going to need one redstone. And I'm going to need a stick or three and some cobble. Cool. Let's make this. So you, I'm not 100% sure why this would be useful to me right now. I can't think of anything I need a breaker for, at least at the moment. Um, if there's anything you guys think of that I might be able to use this for, uh, please let me know. Because right now, all I see is that basically you add a redstone and it breaks the block in front of it. And I don't see anything where like, ooh, I wonder if it works on obsidian. That's a curious thought, and this is already full. Um, well, no, because I can't auto fill obsidian. Yeah, I don't know. Other than trying to generate cobblestone, I don't know where else that would be really useful. So, you know what? You're uncolossal to me. Go in there. <laughs> All right. What else? But that's an achievement completed. So, cool. And what's next? A timer. Timers could be useful. Timer. Timer is four stone, four redstone, and a clock. So I'm going to need five redstone. And I believe the recipe for redstone is blaze. And well, let me just do this. Um, redstone is blaze and gun. And I need five of those. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Which means I'm going to need more blaze powder after this. Okay. And we'll put all those in there and give it a little kablooey. Eight redstone, cool. That'll work. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, and I'm going to need four more sticks. And I'm going to need four gold. I could almost get it perfect every time now. Um... Okay, so four sticks. There's you. Um, oh, I need stone. That's what I need. I think it was four stone. We'll just do eight for right now. Um, four stone, right? Yeah, so I can make the clock. Do I have any stone in here? Oh, I do. Perfect. Cool. We can make that up really quick. So clock. Thank you. And you. Thank you. So now what exactly does this do? <laughs> Uh, the timer gives off a redstone pulse every set amount of ticks. So if I set you down, you just go off every so often. Every hundred ticks. Okay, so let's do this 20, 20 ticks, which is one second. Okay, I don't know why my zero is not working, but... Okay. Oh. You know where I could use this really easily. So I don't have to press this stupid button... If I put this clock on the back and make it go like every, we'll say like every five seconds, we'll set it to a hundred, then I won't have to press that button anymore. If I could just put it right here, let me, let me get a slab and do that really quick. If, oh gosh, then I don't even need the button anymore. Let me, let me take you off. I'm going to take you off. Let's see if this works. We're gonna test this out. Everything's a test for me. I don't know what I'm doing on this. I don't do crazy game of Minecraft. So if I put you there and set you to a hundred, every five seconds you're gonna tick. And that means I can just throw like, okay, we need more blaze right now, right? And blaze is just gunpowder. So let me, let me grab like 15. We're going to grab 10. I think it's three per, so let's grab 12. Like this. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. <clears throat> that is awesome. Although there was still apparently redstone in there, so. Um, so every time I put stuff in here, it's just gonna blow. And, oh, and I was getting place powder. I didn't even notice. Oh, my goodness. If I get that auto dropper, would you get... Animals are starting to die. Yeah, I'm done with them. I am so done with the animals. Um, I don't need those real quick, but whatever. 
Put you guys away. I don't need the wool. Oh, we got a loot bag. Let's see what we got in the loot bag. A compass, a slime pearl, and beetroots. Slime pearl, I think, is actually... I would consider it... Oh, I didn't take them out. What am I doing? Here. Mob drops. You, you. Uh, you're considered mob drop. Until you are a mob drop. And the seeds can go in there. All right. Let me... Oh, I gotta. I guess I can just start doing it here. I always want to throw stuff off the edge. I can just throw in the trash can. All right. This makes me really want to get the automation part of this done. That's that's where we're going with this. That is where we're going. Let's get the loot chest for this timer. That might have been the greatest thing for automation purposes. So we need a quick dropper and a combustion collector. Okay. So let's see. Quick dropper and combustion collector okay cool so you are going to be seven iron a block of glowstone and a dropper you are a hopper and eight iron okay let's open this chest up real quick um okay i got this tome last time i picked the wrong book what do i want this time um i did this last time that's where i cut the second hold shift Hold shift. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know if that showed on my screen, but it opened up the internet. Okay. So you can click on something and you can research it. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I got to admit. Okay. So I need, what was it? Uh, 15. I Oh, I need more iron. Um, what was the recipe? Rotten flesh and I didn't mean to do that. Collector and and dropper. That's it right there, right? Yeah. And huh, alchemical iron. That's what we're looking at. That is rotten flesh and blaze. Okay, cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go grab four rotten flesh. One, two, three, four. And put you over here. So you can make up some iron. Oh, no, no, no. You and you. And you'll make up a whole bunch of that. Cool. So we've got iron coming. And then I need a dropper again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And another piece of redstone. And a hopper. And hoppers are super easy. So let's make the dropper real quick. Um, no chests at the moment, but I've got the iron on me. Okay, cool. So you make the chest, make the hopper, and now I just gotta go make up some iron. How you doing over there? You doing good? Okay, cool. No more you. I want you. Did you already go through all of your crystal shards? <gasps> you did. Where's all that glass I made? Now I gotta make up more of these crystal shards. And we'll grab you. And put you in here. So at least you can start that up. And you give me some more. You give me like a whole bunch now. So just a little bit of glass would be a good amount. I'm definitely gonna have to automate the alchemical fusion table to make these crystal shards. It just kind of makes sense to do so. Um, so I can make a whole bunch more. But now you're making iron relatively quickly. That's not bad at all. Although, where's the iron going? I'll put you in here. You're still making copper? It's like, how are you still making copper? Can I just dump? Okay, cool. Iron, go. I guess that was kind of a waste of the copper, but I just realized, so this, once one goes in here, it fills this, and then it just starts the process. Okay, interesting. Well, while that iron's cooking up and we're making up one of those, we'll probably end up making two, but one will work for right now. What else do I need to take a look at right now? This could be good for starting to automate the mob farm. Because I don't even think about that mob farm very often. And it'd be kind of good that I can start collecting like loot bags and stuff like that. 
and you know just in case we get some useful stuff um that way i can get a, like an endless supply of bones and gunpowder and all that fun stuff that might be something to look into but what else can we look at right now everything else this is probably where i'll look into next time um but I do want to get into the Batania stuff as well. And I have a feeling I have to get through the farming. Let's go look at our quest book and look at what our end goals are. So I need 256 tall mystical black flowers. That's simple. I just have to get my first one. Which means I need to get um, some basic factory. Okay. So that's automating the mob farm right there. Um, to get the zombie hearts, the glands, the rib bones. Sugar. I don't know how to get the sugar cane yet. Um, I need to make colossal chest, gold colossal chest walls and dense stone storage as well as candle berries. That's a lot of stuff to make right there. So under basic farming, is something going to lead me eventually to floral fertilizer? Can I make... I should be able to make floral fertilizer now, right? That should be an, op an option. Floral fertilizer. Ah, there it is. Cool. And yeah, that's going to be with that stuff. Um, so I got to make my first ones with yellow and red and bone meal. And then I can get myself a black flower and make that. So that's all doable. That's all seriously doable. Let's just go ahead and finish these two up real quick and make sure the system worked properly. So it was you. Collector. And you. Dropper. What was the recipe on that one? What was the recipe on that one? It's on the screen somewhere. There it is. Oh, glowstone. I need four glowstone. I don't have enough glowstone. The glowstone recipe is redstone and blaze, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try that. You and you. Let's see if that's the right recipe. I think that's what it was. You're not going kablooey, so that wasn't the recipe. What is the recipe for glowstone? Um, you, you, I need four of you. And it is four and two. Okay. So, wait, which four, which two? Ah. Um, let's try that again. Four red, two blaze. Okay, so four red, two blaze. Do I need more coal in there? Am I already using up all the coal I had? And is that the problem? It's just not hot enough? What's going on here? Four redstone, two blaze. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there we go. There we go. Glowstone, got you. Five glowstone, got you. Bingo. All right, making things happen. You go there, you go there. Quick dropper and collection. So I'm thinking just by the way that, you know, all this stuff works. The collector, I would assume goes right here. And the dropper will go where I put my grate at, right? So I gotta move this grate. I guess I can finally move some of these blocks out of the way. And then I'll put, oh, I can move you completely, can't I? Yeah, you don't, if this works, right? Like that. And then I just put the items in that I need. To, this, this could be good. This could be good. So let's say I'm making another one of those. So let's, this is what I'm making. I'm making place powder. Do you just go in here? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And it just automatically collects and, oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. This is where automation starts. 
<laughs> well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it wasn't like, you know, 100% like objective driven necessarily, but I think we got a lot of really fun stuff done and I'm really excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and make another two for over here and then, yeah, we'll just be able to make stuff whenever we need it. I'll make up another timer. Oh, I am so excited about this. This is, this is where I feel like things are going to start getting crazy and uh, advanced really, really quickly. So... Oh, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.